Thank you, Rita, for a wonderful introduction to a great crowd. Thank you so much. This is a historic day. I'm a historian. There has never been a spontaneous grassroots organization of teachers, parents, students, all coming together to say, save our schools. Today we're together, all of us, parents, students, school leaders. Promise yourself you will never forget this day. Today we join to protest the status quo. The status quo of high stakes testing. The status quo of attacks on the teaching profession. The status quo of privatization. The status quo is wrong. Don't let them say you're defending the status quo. The status quo stinks. We're here today to protest No Child Left Behind and the Race to the Top, which are the same thing. Today we protest the mindless closing of public schools, their community's treasure. We protest punishing schools simply because they enroll large numbers of high needs children. We protest the wholesale firing of principals and teachers under the euphemism of turning them around in transformation. We are here to insist the public schools are a public trust. They're not shoe stores. We insist when children have low test scores, they need help. They need attention. They don't need to have their school closed. We protest, we protest the billions and billions spent on tests, the billions spent on test prep, the billions spent on test security, and that's not enough. More billions for test security. We protest the imposition of business values in education. Yeah. We protest the idea that principals and teachers will work harder if they're offered bonuses, and if they live in fear of being fired. <laughs> Carrots and sticks are for donkeys, not professionals. <laughs> we protest the idea of turning education into a race. Education is a right, not a race. Races have, races have one or two winners and everyone else loses. Our goal is to prepare all children to be winners in their own lives. Yeah. No losers. Yeah. We protest the federal government's insistence on evaluating teachers by student test scores. It's wrong. We protest the idea that state legislatures have the wisdom to know how to evaluate teachers. It's unprofessional. We are here to stand up for basic American values. We speak for millions of parents, teachers, children, school leaders. We speak for the towns and the cities and the villages and the communities of America, which depend on their local public schools. And their teachers will be there long after these terrible ideas have bitten the dust. <laughs> Free public education, open to all, with no lottery, is a cornerstone of our democracy. <laughs> the, shame, the shame of our nation is that we lead the developed world in child poverty. Shame. 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 And if you look at the latest international test scores, our schools that are low poverty schools are number one in the world. They're ahead of Finland. They're ahead of Korea. Number one. The schools that are less than 10% poor and the schools that are 25% poverty are equal to the schools of Finland and Korea, the world leaders. Our problem is poverty, not our schools. Yeah. <laughs> federal, 
government should support equity for our, our neediest students. All students, regardless of their origin, their neighborhood, whoever they are, should receive a great education. The same kind of education that children get at Sidwell Friends just a few miles from here. An education that includes the arts and history and geography and civics and foreign languages and physical education and health and literature and languages. That's what we want for all of our children. Education policy should be designed by educators, not by politicians. Every school in America should have the resources it needs to succeed for its children. We call on Congress to support programs that help children arrive in school ready to learn. Prenatal care for poor pregnant women. That alone would reduce the learning disabilities by a third, at least. High quality early childhood education. Secretary Duncan, the achievement gap begins before children arrive in school for the first day. We march today to support the dignity of the education profession and the importance of families as educators. Let us go home to our communities. Let us stand together with civic leaders, with local business leaders, with community leaders, with our parents, our teachers, our administrators, and everyone who cares about our children and our future. We are many, they are few. Great schools can never be built on a foundation of fear, punishment, and threats. Let us pledge instead today to build schools that reflect the best of our democratic heritage. Let us strive for excellence and insist on equity. Let us build schools that reflect our love of children, our love of learning, and our belief in the highest ideals of education. We shall persist and we shall prevail. Thank you so much.